Okay, so I'm going to do some more messages. This is going to be mermaid messages. Got my beautiful mermaid deck over here. I got my <laughs> beautiful mermaid over here. Let's shuffle one more time. Speaking of mermaids, I had a powerful dream last night in water and basically jumping all the way getting to the bottom, like reaching the bottom. I have lots of water, ocean type dreams because I love it. Anyway, so let's see. Fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. Oh, man. Hold on a second. The lighting is just, you can't really. That's better. See it a little bit better. Because the imagery is so beautiful. Beautiful. She's holding this lovely. Lovely, uh, beautiful baby. So fertility, potential, sanctuary, privacy, inv invalid personal space, respective boundaries and taboos. Sanctuary. You know, a lot of us are in our own sanctuary, looking at ourselves. Look at that. Yep. Taking a good look. In the mirror, deep reflection in our sanctuary. Okay, that's ooh, I gotta read that one too. Okay, and also connecting to life bringing energies. Every time I see this card, I think of a notebook. <laughs> I feel like it looks like the actress, anyways. Breathing life, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life bringing energies, and especially we have potential powerful creative energies like potentials and infinite potentials okay so I guess I should pull this mermaid card or I mean book out I'm usually right around here here we go found it And it's number eight. Ooh, like the infinity symbol. There we go. And now we just have a glare. Oh my goodness, the glares. I'm trying my best here. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right. All right. We mermaids are creatures who bring to you now a powerful force, the power to create, begin, initiate, grow. Some call it fertility and they consider it to be only to do with the act of conception. You are now a fertile being, a being who is ready and has all the energy and richness and goodness needed to bring forth a great project. This is the moment of decision for you. Will you use this great power and seek out what it is you need to see seed your own fertile waters? We mermaids say that it may be time that you have all that is needed, desire to richly provide life to creations, ideas, people, dreams. It is now time for you to decide how this will be worked with used and explored you you are a fertile enriching being and new life and growth is ready to spring from your mind your emotions your body and your soul beautiful and then we have more messages this is a time for the conception and growth of a new project a time to get ready to prepare it may literally mean that it is time to conceive and grow a new life in the world 
taking herbal supplements and changing diet and lifestyle so that new projects have the healthiest possible beginnings. Initiating projects in the spirit of goodwill, with positivity and, and enrichment, no longer being neglectful of the self. Bliss, saturation, abundance. You are in a place of great potential. It is essential for you to ride this energy and deepen your roots and sow your seeds at this moment. Do not let this fertile time come to nothing. Sow the seeds of ideas, of dreams, and action them out into the world, into reality. The mermaids know you are the right one to bring this idea or being or project through. You have been gifted a time of great potential. The perfect conditions you must do your very best to ensure success. The seed is in your hand. Let it fall to the right good earth and let your soul grow what is born to create. What it is born to create. Wow. So this is a beautiful message of the fertility energy projects. You know, it's really interesting because before I started this, I was thinking of, man, I got to start doing more creative projects again, painting and getting the creative energies out. And so anyways, side note beautiful message okay so we got sanctuary the beautiful fertility right we also have sanctuary the mirror so know thyself self-examination seeing who you really are and this kind of goes to the message earlier that I just did is about even in this say we'll just say separation okay between the twin flames or divine souls right here Really, you're just a mirror, and even in your own sanctuary, you're experiencing this, maybe a separation, but fully you're already connected in these bubbles, these bubbles of light, of love, and so that's another another message here. Okay, so oh, let's keep going. Let's get another message. Something is... I also feel something being brought back to life within a connection after a long time of like solitude. Okay. Receptivity. Oh, I just wanted one part, but <laughs> I try. What? So this is so beautiful. We have receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to give. Just getting this message from, looks like a little message. Okay. Yamaya, grandmother of ocean, primordial. Here is another baby in the mix here. Children, life could also just represent that, this fertile moment, this a fertile time. Uh, and then we have vision, psychic images, clairvoyant scene, out of body travel. 17, or no, it's 37. I've been seeing lots of sevens. Okay. The spiritual journey. Hmm. So. Visions. I also feel like you could be having visions or dreams if you, if you plan or want to have children in the future or soon. Okay. For the feminines out there. Um, divine feminine. In this, this beautiful god, mother goddess energy coming through with receptivity, visions, and then. So I see, I see that, definitely. And we also have Imrama, wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. That's so beautiful. So having visions. All right, let's see. Dreams. What I just said. Well, let's talk about visions and dreams and dream messages, dream teaching. All right, so. How about number 45? Okay. Let's read him, Rama. You, you may have heard in the great legends and stories of the Celtic people this word, Imrama, and of the many islands and seas that must be crossed of the ninth wave and the places that you can journey to. We, we come to sing to you of your own soul voyage that must take place now and urge you to take your hands and swim. Swim with us, 
Sail next to us, paddle alongside us, and we shall show you the way to navigate the, cur the great currents and to traverse the world of the air and the world of the water. You have long divided yourself into your parts, your emotions you keep so separate from your head. On Imrama, the lines you have so clearly divided all into will blur, and you will at times no longer know what is real or unreal. But all the while, we will sing you onwards, calling you forth so you continue to follow the journey of the soul. Prepare for sights that are wonders, creatures who defy your imagination and discoveries about who you are. You will gather so much and experience such awe that you will feel at times you may be dreaming. But you are not. You are embarking on an imbrama, and all that you encounter is the unknown. Lands of strangers will teach you, and you will be akin to Adeus as he, as he voyaged. Odysseus, sorry. And you will discover that the mermaids are not those sirens of that myth, but the navigators of the emotional underworld who will help you reach the other side, extending yourself, feeling the wind in your hair. There will soon be a great voyage for you, where you travel over water to come to a place that your soul has longed to journey to. There will be so much that is wonderful for you to explore and to come to know, but you will be called on. You will not stay in these places, for they are not home, but they are places your soul must taste to know more of the experience of life. The Imrama, uh, or the pilgrimage over water, is one that is watched over by the mermaids, and one that we all must make during our lifetime. lifetimes. You are now being asked to prepare to save, plan your travel, purchase your tickets, and have your passport ready. Ooh, you can plan all you like because the trip will ultimately be taking you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> be ready. This will be a wonderful voyage and you will always be glad you listened and made your pilgrimage of the soul. The mermaids will help you on your way and oh, what beauties there shall be. Say yes, for now is the time to voyage forth and return only when you're in Rama, your soul journey is complete. Wow, I think I'll just leave it at that because uh, that's so beautiful. And I don't know what else I could add to that. So thank you, beautiful, beautiful mermaid energies, mermaids. All right, thank you guys. Bye.